Oh, okay, so um, last season Tara kind of sort of trusted her instincts more than like what other people were telling her and I kind of matched it. Are we going to see her sort of become less trusting in season three or is she still going to try and do the best thing? Uh, in season three where we pick up, she's really um, kind of withdrawn into herself. And I think the only opinion she will trust is her own. Uh, she's very much just the scales of whether or not she's Cara Dan juggling Cara Danvers and Supergirl is leaning very much towards Supergirl right now. And I think it's because of what she lost in season three and the pain she felt. So I think someone who has lost their entire world and their family and their parents must have abandonment issues. And she just experienced it again as an adult, so grapple with that kind of I think the question, am I an alien or am I a human, is coming into effect. Do you, do you think it's darker now this season? And do you like that it's a little bit darker than it is? There is, yeah, I definitely think it's more darker. It's more adult, certainly for her. She's always, she, we've, the way I've lived in her skin up till now has been sunny and positive, and she always finds a silver lining. She always knows there's a way. But now it's very much like she is it's business, and she is not talking about how she feels. And she's, her, she's like ironclad strong right now, but there's a lot of vulnerability. And I like it. I think that's the natural progression of where it should go. I mean, every woman experiences that, every person experiences that, and I want to explore every facet of them, like being a female. What's your opinion about Kat knowing that she's Supergirl now? I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's great and I want to see the scene where they talk about it. <laughs> and I don't know if it would be as Supergirl as Cara Danvers, but it'd be hilarious. How long do you think she's known? Since the beginning? Oh yeah, I think Kat probably knew from the get-go. And just like feigned that she did it. But Cara, I still don't think Cara knows the cat knows. <laughs> <laughs> it would mess up equilibrium. As the season kicks off, which of her relationships kind of come to the fore? Which ones are sort of like right in her face at the start of the season? Absolutely with Alex. I mean, Alex, I think, cares more than anyone. So, everyone, though, this, this core that she has that's so beautiful with John Jones is this paternal role. Eliza and Alex and even Maggie and Lena is her best friend and J uh, Gwyn and James, they are all very worried because it's so out of character for her. Um, so you'll see quite a bit of everyone kind of poking her and being like, are you alright in there? <laughs> So, I love your work in Lowriders. Are you, oh, work, are you working on anything in between the seasons or the show? I just wrapped a mini series this summer that I'm excited for everyone to see in January uh, called Waco. Uh, yeah, that's January, I can't remember, but it's on Spike Becoming Paramount Network. 